Hey guys, welcome to another work in progress on my Dragon Momoko Strike Noir. So I'm basically just continuing the same thing that I was doing still last time you guys saw this. I have now also got the arms and shoulders painted, the frame of the waist and the legs is painted. All of the skirt armor is now almost all painted as well. Just don't have that on here yet. Um, but yeah, again, none of the panel lining or detail or anything else is done. It's just got the like base layer of paint done on there at the moment. So yeah, coming along pretty well. I'm quite happy with the way that it's coming out. And there's just a look at the back and top there. Anyway, so I uh, just wanted to give you guys a look at kind of the process of how I'm going about building this. So I told you guys that I'm building it a section at a time. So I uh, already got all of the skirt is all like out and that's just almost done. The leg frame is there, but here's all like the armor parts for the leg and feet. Uh, so basically what I've just done here is I've just cut everything out. Uh, with the nubs still attached on there. So what I, what I do is go just with my hubby knife and I'm just cutting off all the nubs first. Uh, you know, like that. And then going with a sanding stick. This In this case, this is just a 400 grit uh, sanding stick from Wave. Uh, it's just a small, hard sanding stick here. And then what I'm doing is I'm sanding all of the angles here is a piece of the skirt armor. I think maybe this is a good example. So you can see how the angles look really sharp on this. Uh, the the molding, the way that they're molded, I mean, they're molded pretty well, but I'm sanding all the, the flat sides to make the angles oops, even more sharp uh, so that it just looks really nice and clean. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with these. The legs have a lot more curved parts. So the curved parts, like some of those I'm uh, sanding, I'll sand like some of these because it's a very slight curve, but like something like for example like this one here. Uh, I won't bother like trying to sand that part. It's it's okay really. I'm not worried about getting everything like everything really sharp, just as much as I can. And it's just a lot of sanding, so I'm just I need to sand like every single edge here and all of that. So uh, I'll go ahead and get all this stuff uh, sanded up, and then we'll uh, I'll show you the next step. Alright, so fast forward to the next day. All the parts are sanded and now just uh, I've got them here in some water. Now in an old video in my Gunpla building series I did a long time ago working on the Yakadoga, I said uh, I talked about washing the runners uh, just before or just after you take them out of the bags like right away. Uh, that was actually not really the best advice. Uh, the, just kind of disregard that. You really only need to wash them like straight away if you're not going to be painting. That will maybe help like stickers stick and stuff like that. But if you're going to be painting, the point is to wash them just wash everything just before you paint. Now if you have something like ultrasonic cleaner, that's kind of the best way to get the parts clean. But if you don't, um, this is one way. This is kind of just what I've done. Uh, just kind of uh, rinsing them in some water and you can put in some soap too if you want. I don't have any soap in this case. I think just the water is working fine. Uh, and just have an old toothbrush and then just taking the parts and there's going to be like just some extra dust and stuff especially like in the cracks and crevices uh, from sanding. So I'm just scrubbing everything just really well with the toothbrush and then after that I just need to let it dry. Just let all the parts dry out and so you have all the water out and off of them uh, before you go to paint because then when you paint if there's still water on the part uh, that's the water is going to be kind of trapped under the paint and what you'll end up is you can end up with like some bubble and then when the water dries it just kind of makes the paint look not good so uh, that's all just kind of scrubbing these parts clean clean enough anyway that we can start painting and then just setting them here out to the side on a paper towel to dry and uh, that's it. So after this, then the next thing is just uh, getting them on the alligator clips for painting. So we'll skip to that here once I'm done scrubbing these.
So that's gonna be it for this work in progress video. I'm gonna wait for this stuff to dry and then snap it all onto the kit. If you wanna see what that looks like with the kit just all together as it is like this before I start to do any detailing or panel lining or anything like that, uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm sure I'll post a picture there. Uh, but for this video, I'm just gonna end it here. Next, after this, uh, I'm gonna need to work on painting the backpack and the weapons. Now, so far, I haven't really had to do any seam line removal for the most part. Uh, a couple small little seam lines on uh, the arm frame, but uh, on the weapons and backpack, I know there's some seams I'm gonna need to work on, so I need to work on those, painting the backpack, and then the next work in progress video will probably where I'll be doing some of the just detail painting, panel lining, and uh, decals. So I'm gonna use all of the decals that came with the kit. I'm not gonna use any other special decals or anything else, so I'll use those. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.